Good morning. Good morning. We're so glad you're here. Good morning. Good morning to you. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope that you'll come back tomorrow. We just started some Joffrey's coffee that we had left over from our trip for dad. He's been in meetings all morning. Um, and I'm gonna make a little snack with oats. Good for your heart. Um, oats and banana and coconut, and peanut butter and chocolate. So just have quick um, for a little snack. So I'm gonna be making those. I have both the boys with me. Are you eating an apple? So I had the camera ready to like capture a sweet moment of me and James making these. And he was so disinterested. Um, so I'm finishing them up now that Peter has a little lull in his meetings. And I will link this recipe below because the footage that I thought I was gonna take didn't happen. Um, but that's all right. And Teddy's taking a little nap. He is raving in the shot. He actually slept. Okay, the pack and play is not working at the moment. There will be a mattress for it arriving today. So many people commented saying that that was the key thing for their child sleeping in the pack and play. So I did order one of those and that's gonna be here today. So hopefully that'll change things. But last night we actually switched the boys and Teddy slept in the crib and it worked out great. So I'm hopeful that the mattress, it's just like he needs a little cush and then he needs the space because the bassinet isn't working either because like he kind of moves around and then he like hits the side and wakes up. So I feel like that's progress. Like we're getting somewhere. Um, but I'll obviously keep you updated. Hopefully that's the trick. And then I feel like once we get sleep again, we can have some sort of a routine again because I've been having all these goals, but then I also need to like take care of myself when it comes to like resting when I can. And that's, that's that on that. Have you guys ever had seaweed? This snack? They sell them at Trader Joe's, but they had them in Jewel in like the international aisle. And these are teriyaki flavor. So yummy. And Jamesy loves them. These are good. Now, just gonna pop them in the fridge. Nice right, Friday, Thursday. It is my Friday because I'll be down in Orlando tomorrow for the day. We're going back to the treadmills. I got three sous chefs tonight. Two little boys and one little girl. You giving him good tickle. I'm gonna be making dumpling soup. So I started with a pack of frozen stir fry veggies that had like a little packet of sauce. And I'm gonna add in some veggie broth and water to get the broth going. I have a little bit of miso to add. I have been pressing my tofu probably too much. Now that I'm seeing it, because I'm supposed to like score it and sear it, it's still in basically one big block, but we're just gonna do our best. I found a TikTok recipe that I will link below. Basically, you pan sear the um, 
the tofu and then you put chili oil on it and then you eat it with bites of rice which I have going and little seaweed snackies like snack strips um, so that's gonna be like the main dish and then the soup will be kind of on the side and then obviously the dumplings are Jamesy's favorite so that is what is for dinner all right I will link the actual recipe below so you can see how it should actually look but I did score this and salt my tofu I'm gonna sear it real quick the rice is done and then while the tofu cooks it's gonna spunk up the soup so I just added onion powder and ginger powder is it called ginger powder and then I also tossed in the dumplings to cook. So here is my magic potion soup so far. I basically just covered it. Um, one part vegetable broth, two parts water, because there was like a big packet of seasoning that came with those veggies. So I'm gonna add some miso, and I just did a good swirl of soy sauce. Peter is home. I don't know if he mentioned, we're going to go and get Garrett's popcorn for his team um, that he'll be seeing tomorrow in Florida. But he, when he was downtown, I forget when that was. I think it was when he went to Fannie Mae with James. He saw that our gazebo was lit up. And the gazebo, if you don't know, is where we got engaged, right next to the Drake Hotel. And when we got engaged, it was not lit up. Peter tried getting in contact with whoever he could to try and get it to be lit for our engagement, um, but he couldn't, and it was like a weird thing with the park district, I don't know. We, over the years, have taken little light bulbs from it, and so the whole concept of the gazebo not being lit up has been a part of our story since we got engaged nine years ago. Um, and so when he drove past it, he saw it was lit up. So we are going to go and try and take pictures by it. That's why I'm like somewhat more put together than I have been. Um, I still have to put a little bit of makeup on. Our photo is going to be far away, so I don't have to, you know, really do myself up. Um, but that is where we're going once we eat. And then we really do need to go to bed because Peter has a very early start to his day. Um, also, Jane Z did not nap. Which, which honestly has been fine, he's been in great spirits. Um, obviously, we all could use some extra sleep, so I'm kinda like, not so thrilled that he missed it, but also I'm like, okay, we need to go to bed early tonight, so this is a good reason. Like, he'll go to bed early because he'll be he'll be tired too, and maybe even the car will help along with that um, on our way back. Hopefully on our way back and not our way there. And if the photo doesn't work out, it's okay. You kinda look sleepy too. Oh, you just wanna grab everything. We're having dinner in the living room again. Here is our final product. I just put the tofu and the rice in one bowl for us to kind of pick at like family style. Here is our soup. I topped it with some black pepper. This is not aesthetic whatsoever. All the soup really, really needed after I last left you was some more soy sauce. And I added a little bit of sriracha and then topped it with the black pepper. And James is dancing for the pot stickers. This is the brand Seaweed Snack that we are using. James is very invested in the Polar Express. Um, but like I said, I'm going to link the TikTok recipe below, especially for the homemade chili oil um, that goes on top of the tofu. Um, and I'll let you know how it is. The chili oil alone is delicious. Um, I'm so excited. I actually have been getting all of the ingredients for the recipes I've been making and it's been fabulous. An assembled sweet, sweet deliciousness. Yeah. What do we think? Eight out of five marrons? 10 out of five marrons? Mm-hmm. One out of three marrons? So we did get the teriyaki seaweed snack because that's what we typically like to just snack on. Um. Which definitely kind of like takes over in some aspects, but because there's so much garlic in the oil, it's really out. good. Yeah, it's really good. Check it out, Michigan Avenue at Christmas time. So even though I'm leaving to go to Florida in like I think seven hours, so we'll see how much sleep I end up getting. There's one more thing I need to pick up for my holiday party with my my team. Oh, look at those lights! And it is closing here in like ten minutes. I'm hoping that they have what I need. And they'll still be open when I turn the corner here. But I just wanted to show you the most beautiful street in the world at Christmas time. Actually, I don't know that to be certain. I'm sure there's more beautiful streets. Like, 
Main Street maybe or someplace in Barcelona maybe. So I'm going to Garrett's Popcorn to pick up Chicago Mix Popcorn because I always give my team a hard time about how amazing Chicago is because it is the best city in the whole world and fun things like Garrett's Popcorn are fun. My boss is actually a big fan of Garrett's Popcorn so I brought it to last year's holiday party that I flew down for so everyone was like you gotta bring that popcorn stuff. Well I just jinxed the person on the TV. Um, change of plans. Last second, hi. I was getting Jamesy's shoes on to go and he just looked exhausted, like he was falling asleep. It just it just got later than we expected. Um, and it just would not have been, it just wouldn't have been fair to them to throw him in the car. Um, right now we would have to have gone to Garrett's first and then done the photo and who knows if they would have even stayed awake to get down there um and then again just not fair to be like take a nice photo when you're exhausted so we have we have some time to get the photo for Christmas cards um but it was just like a very last minute I was literally putting our shoes on and Jamesy was just like his eyes were going and I was like Let's let's not do this tonight. Teddy is so determined today to get any anything in my hands he wants. Oh, and now he's just gonna sit up. So we're gonna um, watch Toy Story three and relax. There it is, good popcorn. Look at that big popcorn over there. There you go, lots and lots of popcorn. Straight out of Garrett's over here on Ohio or Ontario, where am I? So good. Um, made fresh today. We brought to Orlando in about seven hours. Now it may sound very touristy, but if you ever come to Chicago and you're looking for a great a restaurant, great restaurant, the Grand Lux Cafe at the corner of Ohio and Michigan. It's really delicious, really amazing, really good. If you get there, you can early enough you can request a window seat to be on the Meg Mile. So it feels very touristy, but they actually have a massive menu and everything we've ever gotten from there is really good. Order the beignets for dessert, but you have to order them when you first sit down because they make them, they mix the batter to order. So they're really, really good. So just a suggestion. You can obviously do whatever you want if you ever come to Chicago. But if you're feeling slightly touristy, but like not what I would call truly touristy, Grand Lux Cafe. We need to spend more time in the, the downtown area this holiday season because it's beautiful and amazing. Okay, I stopped in front of the Drake. Boom, beautiful, right? Look at that, it's just gorgeous, right? All right, anyway, that's not why we're here. We're here for this, the gazebo. You can see there's Christmas lights on it. The other day I drove past it with James and the gazebo was lit up, it hasn't been lit up in years. That's where I proposed to Sarah because we love it when it's all lit up and hasn't been lit up since we got engaged. And the kids almost came with, we almost did a Christmas picture there tonight, but they were too tired, they were falling asleep so we didn't bring them, which is good because we would have been disappointed. So hopefully we can figure out when this gazebo is lit up so we can take a beautiful Christmas photo. Look how beautiful it is down there. Yeah, I gotta get home. I love that gazebo. Wow. 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 That's fun because it's a wonderful life. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't take much to transform. <laughs> Peter tickled me. Uh, small apartment. I love that chick. <laughs> My favorite movie of all time. Yeah, I'm even wearing. Sarah's even wearing her. You are now in Bedford Falls shirt. Really, it's the best movie. Like, do we say it's our favorite Christmas movie too? It's just like my favorite movie ever. Yeah, I think it's both favorite movie and favorite Christmas yeah. movie. Yeah, like whenever there's those little, like blurbs of like you have to eliminate, you can only keep three. Like it's still usually listed, and I always have to pick it. It's a wonderful life if you don't know. Peter's got to wake up. I mean, we're probably both going to wake up. In um, just under four hours. Yeah. And Teddy transferred on the first try to the pack and play with the mattress. 
I was like putting them down. I was like, this is it. Here's the, and like, it might not be perfect every single time, but just the fact that it made such a difference just that first time, pretty telling. So thank you everyone. If we end up liking it and such, I'll share what we bought. Uh, yeah, so I'm like packed. It's, it's a day trip, so like I'm not even, I'm not even bringing my work laptop. And I'm, I'm literally bringing just like that bag of carrots and then a bag He's of... He's a traveling man. <laughs> and then a, a bag that is like a for a white elephant gift. And then like I'm going to bring the G7X, so that'll be in my pocket. I hope you have so much fun. I, think I don't know, what, what should me and the boys do? Peter just know. told me it's going to be 80 there. Let's see what the temperature's going to be. Um, I'm excited because like last year we had a holiday party in the office and like half of the team showed up. 90% chance of rain slash snow. 100% chance of rain slash snow. Oh yeah. Snow. 40 degrees. Oh, what time is, oh. what time is it at my flight? Uh, I hope there's no delays. Yeah, but at least it's really really early so if it's delayed you got like the best starting point yes but like most of my team and department is like showing up tomorrow yeah that'll be great like it's gonna I be asked, like 19 I was like, people have you met everybody that's so not fun. in person Alrighty, well let's get as much sleep as you can it's good to be home it's good to be home i also think i'm gonna try to read stanley tucci's book on the plane that's a really good idea, and I hope you win the sleep. festival of the holidays. I really hope I do too. It's not guaranteed. Goodbye. She go listen to all the Father Christmas. Stuff. I won't have enough time. I should pick. I should go see Popo Gijo. No. What's her name? Not Streganona. Not Streganona. I say, hey, are you my mother-in-law? <laughs> and she'll say, no. <laughs> <laughs> We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>